Believe it or not, that was not choreographed. What was that? Us drinking our energy drink at the same time. Does that? it look really synced up? Yeah. Is it like weird? It, I felt it as Just it was it happening. Out. No, Just I'm leaving that in. Out. I'm leaving it in. So we went to go to sushi the other day, and somebody had the soju thing, and they were like, they were like this, and it made like a tornado yeah, in it. Yeah, did like a little soju tornado. You know, yeah, like a little, little twist. Yeah. And then... One of my friends like put it behind his back and he was trying to like whip it around, you know? Yeah. So as he was whipping it, you know, the waiter's like walking behind us because it's sushi. There's like not a lot of room. Yeah. And everybody the whole time was like, huh? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Like, please, please stop. Do not bash our waiter. He in was the like, face. bro, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, until I get it, everyone will be in danger. <laughs> until I get this shit. And when he finally <laughs> kind of got it, we were all like, ah, oh, good, good job. job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me the soju bottle. But anyways, my wife is here. Hello. Welcome back. What's you can that? track what video we're doing based on the amount of donuts that we have. Please show them the donuts. Present the donut. Here you, here you. Donuts. 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 Boom. So it's my donut. That's really hard to do. Let's get started. <laughs> you were looking at it too. I was looking in the thing though. It's reverse. We had a guy bring up the fact that the channel is getting so educational because we're doing so many animal fact videos. Uh huh. And I feel like he watches the Frank ones with his eyes closed. These videos are gross. It is a experience, yeah. not just a knowledge based thing. Right. It is like you will have things in your body doing things as you watch it. Ew. You understand what I'm saying? So if your tummy's <laughs> grumbling, it'll go and like squeeze out whatever excrement's left so you can puke it up because that's the kind of experience that it is. So grab your donut, grab a girl, and let's get started. Eating during this video is probably not a great idea. You know what? I'll, I'll take that right and we are here. Go do it. What? <laughs> Did you guys understand anything that he just said? Can you translate? Because I have no idea what he just said. Let's go, come on. What did you say before that? You said like a full two sentences. Put your headphones on, let's go. Stop making fun of me. <laughs> Three, two, one, play. This episode sponsored by Brilliant. Learn to think. Here, in the bizarre and wondrous landscape of a coral... Jerry, why is the fish in the shot? It doesn't bother you? All right. Here, in the bizarre and wondrous landscape of a coral reef, during... The Jerry, I can't do it. But because we're not talking about fish, Jerry. It's screwing up the whole... Just change it. Thank you. There we during go. During the nights following There's a full moon, fish, things get dirty. <laughs> it's quite beautiful. Almost looks like a snow globe. But, you know, instead of snow, it's ejaculate. This is Thanks. the beginning of a mass Thank spawning. You. In near perfect synchrony, corals release their baby making bits into the water. <laughs> baby making bits! We... <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. We are less, less than one minute in. Mm hmm. We're less than one minute. A single right. wholesome joke about, oh, the fish is in the frame, but it's about coral. Anyways, massive amounts of sperm. Let's get started. I'm so annoyed. <laughs> With some corals, it's a geyser of sperm. Yeah. While many others release these bundles of sperm and egg Jesus together. <laughs> these bundles. <laughs> oh my god! Oh. Why do they do that? <laughs> Bro, saying "puh" as you ejaculate is devious. That's fucking. Yeah, that is irrational. You are psychotic. That Arrest is this insane man. behavior. Arrest this man. These bundles of sperm and egg together. Oh my god. <laughs> These bundles are like the pornographic version of a tide pod, designed to break apart as they reach the surface of the water. This is the beginning of life. They're eating it. Why would you show the fish They're eating, eating it. it? It's the opposite of life. This is the beginning of life. Resting on the surface, eggs and sperm have an easier time finding a suitable match. And when they do, it's time to make a baby. The baby. newly fertilized eggs begin to divide and grow, yeah. looking at times like an albino raspberry crossed with a sneeze. But eventually, Ew. they settle on oh something that looks God. a bit closer to a fish-flavored Tic Tac. These little coral larvae are covered in wavy, wavy cilia that let them move through the water. Really? Because now it's time to find a home. Huh. When they reach the seafloor, these little larvae begin to search for a suitable spot. Not totally clear on what the criteria is here. I mean, it looks like a rock, but I get it. It's like where to put your blanket down at a music festival. Mm. You want a good view, maybe some shade. 
You don't want to be sitting next to a group of assholes, but eventually these little picky bastards find their forever home. Now, the first order of business is to grow up and metamorphosize into an adult form called a polyp. You know, it's not like the metamorphosis of a butterfly, more like a quivering loogie. Now, coral are animals in a group called the Cnidarians, which includes jellyfish and anemones. Their body plan is circular, mouth in the middle on top and surrounded by tentacles. Now, let's flip it over and look at the bottom, which looks remarkably like the top. But yeah. this backside here can fart crystals. The science what? hippies call it biomineralization. Okay. Because everything has to Biomineralization is sounds like some shit I would make up in a video to make a joke about rocks. Yeah. Yeah. Also sounds like something that might be in a video game to explain some sort of weird yes. phenomenon. Right, right. Why are the rocks growing like this, Jay? Well, the biomaterialization on the type of gold that we need is all over the planet. We're going to be rich. Then that guy gets eaten by a big sandworm. Then the game starts. Damn. I'm trying to like make sure my puff is small oh, enough you're, to you're fit doing in some puff brain. adjustments. I'm trying to. We should get one of those uh, tire things, like to fill up tires, like put it in there, and try to like, blow air in there, <laughs> like inflate it. <laughs> trying to just make it like. If we were prop comics, we'd have done that several times by now. Be complicated, but here, if you look closer, you can see that they're making calcium carbonate crystals. And then they lay them down underneath that tushy. And that becomes a sort of growing skeleton that this coral polyp sits wow. on top of. Now, some coral are content with a single polyp, lazy. But the big reef-building corals have other plans. To grow, polyps create clones of themselves. Sometimes it's a little one that buds off to the oh, side. Yeah. Like if you had a tiny version of you growing on your ankle. Other polyps <laughs> elongate and then sort of pinch off into two. I don't know, this way feels more stressful. Anyway, how and where Ooh. these new clones form determines the shape of the growing coral. Each one of those tentacle oh polyps is an individual animal, but they all remain connected by a sort of skin between them. So okay. the living part of coral is just this thin layer over top this skeleton they're growing. Like if you Got draped it. a floral pattern oh. blanket over a rock. Like looks, I mean, no. I'll tell you what, you're going to like yourself. You're surrounded by a whole bunch of you constantly finishing each other's sentences and forget about an argument come up with a good insult and it ricochets right back and you're stuck you're not going anywhere but they make it work they even cooperate using that thing that brings us all together mucus what let me explain face. just like when they were larvae the surface of corals are covered with cilia the cilia right. are constantly waving around like they were headbanging at a metal concert <gasps> and all this waving causes the water on the surface of the coral to move you can okay. see it better if you spritz some crap over top. Thanks. Little currents are formed that move the water in particular ways. For example, here you can That's see that it moves up cool. the ridges that are surrounding a polyp. This movement actually okay. creates a low pressure zone right over the middle of the polyp, which creates flow towards the polyp's mouth. So on the surface of the coral, there's these sort of water current highways that connect groups of polyps together. They tried it with a dead one oh, too. Oh, look at that! <laughs> Very thorough didn't work most likely due to the deadness but we'll keep you posted so back to mucus corals secrete a lot of it sometimes it's thin like a wipe your nose every second and sometimes it's thicker like a lung biscuit the mucus can trap what? particles on the surface what the fuck is a lung biscuit a what what the fuck is a lung biscuit what are you talking about that's not a phrase that we have here I'm trying to imagine what part of mucusy is the lung biscuit. Uh, you know what? Move on. I don't want to know. Can you? Can you not? I'm trying to fluff your afro. Want to hit mine? No. Get it in the back a little bit. Just like. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some fluff in the back. Come on, do it. I hit yours already. <laughs> this is a bit that requires a lot more setup than you just grabbing a microphone. I remember that when Charlie came over, I had to blow those balls up. So I brought the bike pump upstairs. And I set it right here. That's not... So when I said that, I was like, wait a minute, I do have a prop. This is not, this is, do you want me to pump up your hair? We'll get to it later. Okay. All right. I'm leaving <laughs> all of that in. None of that's coming out. Play the vid, play the vid. We're at, we're at throat biscuit. Here we go.
<laughs> lung biscuit. Whatever. Three, two, one. Black. Second, and sometimes it's thicker like a lung biscuit. The mucus can trap particles on the surface, and then those water currents can move that loogie around. Ew. And this Clean. sort of thing comes in handy, like if you get covered by sediment. Don't you worry, mucus can take care of that in a jiffy. Ew. You can even use this trick to bring mucusy water to parts of the coral that are at risk of drying out. Mm. But oh, as wow. is the case when you're dealing with boogers, some will eventually wind up in the mouth. Oh, stop, you've done it too. But for coral, it's actually a legitimate technique. You'll see. It sounded like a threat. <laughs> He's like, you'll see. <laughs> I'm going to show you whether yeah. you want to see it or not. It was very distressing. <laughs> Polyps will use mucus sort of like a net, oh, catching God. little creatures that are floating around and then they pull it back into their mouth hole. Oh. Mm. <laughs> oh. I mean, this mucus trick really works. You can try it. Go to a restaurant and I... sneeze on something, they give it to you. Same, same, but different. Now, you can imagine with all those food filled strings all. of mucus around, there might be some healthy competition between those mouth holes. Maybe my favorite is Diaceris fragilis, which has multiple mouths in a single polyp. And look yeah. at this, they get all grabby with each other, even though the food's going to the same place. It's like that scene from Lady and the Tramp, <laughs> except <laughs> here they're sucking on two ends of a loogie. But there are some uh, pumps. Uh, fucking shit, bro! Uh, dude, it's like, I'm trying to stick it out because these minutes go by so slow. I'm so but like, all of the mucus eating jokes get to you after a while. What did I tell you about starting to eat that donut? I know. I'm glad I'm not eating it now because I definitely would have <laughs> thrown up already. Um, okay. We take we take frequent breaks in the Frank videos. I just... We are very visual, emotional people. We can see it and feel it, and we have to check our emotions or uh, our imaginations all the time. Okay. Play the video. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. So that are better at sharing. If a Stylophora polyp has a little extra food, it'll put it directly into the mouth of his neighbor. It's so That's cute. Nice. It's like if a handshake and a hug had a baby. And look, they all take turns. It's adorable. That's actually and you kind You can of try cute, this at yeah. the dinner party. One person starts with all the food and just make sure you're sitting close. And you know, polyps can share even after they've eaten something. They're connected together on the inside of that blanket they form over top the skeleton. You can see how there's a whole system of canals that connect these polyps wow. together. So oh, food that goes into the mouth of one polyp can find its way to another. Now, tiny things trapped in mucus isn't the only thing on the menu. Thanks. If they're in the mood for something a bit bigger, they can use these little stinger harpoons that they have inside their tentacles. What? These cells have a tube inside that's wound up like a spring, and there's a little dart on the end that can deliver venom. Something what? touches it, the whole thing goes off. Tube. And the tips are often barbed so they can hold on to stuff, like these very unfortunate jellyfish that oh, the polyps no. ganged up on. Oh, Tell wow. You, I would very much not like to die like this. Getting pulled into a bunch of tiny mouths yeah. and being digested by noodles? Yeah, that's I didn't tell you about up. the noodles. <laughs> Here, look into this polyp's mouth. Oh! You can see a whole bunch of spaghetti. Those are called mesenterial filaments, and they sort of... Mesenterial filaments? That's what they're called? That's what the fucking noodle mouth is? Holy crap. That is literally the stuff nightmares are made of. The walls, Jerry, they're in the walls. You see a whole bunch of spaghetti. Those are called mesenterial filaments, what and they the sort of fuck? hang down inside the polyp. But these noodles like to come out and play. Sometimes it's out the mouth, ah. and other times they're poking through little holes in the skin. Ah. They're part of the coral's digestive system, and they secrete enzymes which can oh. break down food into something that the coral can absorb. But corals use these filaments for all sorts oh of things. Oh my god. They use them to clean and disinfect their wounds. Uh, wipe them. We're gonna go get fucking Italian food after this. Uh. <laughs> we're gonna get Italian food. That's where her birthday dinner is at is Italian food. Uh. We're supposed to go to a birthday dinner after the, this. The way they bunched up like that is what the noodles gonna look like on the plate. And it's a family serve Italian plate, so they're gonna put a big ass bowl of noodles in our face I'm just so like disgusted. that. So okay. down once right. in a while. It's like if you puked out your intestines and used them like a mop. And of course, because it's nature, they use them to beat the shit, well, eat the shit out of each other. You what? know, they're competing for resources out on that reef. And if things get too cozy, it's like a food fight in the kitchen of an Italian restaurant. Jesus! It doesn't really look like it would hurt, more like tickle. But what they're doing is stinging and trying to digest each Stop other. Stop touching yeah. me! <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> you know, it's like, you just try not to move when, the, when it's doing the fucking weirdness. You try to shut your brain off, hear what he's saying, and not feel anything, right? 
Am I not the only person that does that? That's why his whisper style is so effective at keeping it uncomfortable. Yeah. Because I try not to feel or think while I'm looking at this happening. Yeah. Trying to just learn. Oh my god. Tickle. But what they're doing is stinging and trying to digest each other. Whoa there. <laughs> that one just got pushy. Anyway, that's what I meant when I said they digest with noodles. For many coral, though, the food they rely on doesn't enter their mouth hole at all. I'm not implying there's another hole. It doesn't go through any hole. Instead, they have a sort of arrangement with another organism. When certain single-celled algae, those brown things, enter the coral's mouth, they aren't digested. Instead, they make their way into coral cells, the transparent ones, and end up in these special organelles called symbiosomes. The algae can create food using sunlight, photosynthesis, oh, like plants. Hilarious. It's a bit like having a tree growing in your ass, Jerry. It's not, <laughs> and I told you don't like metaphors. So coral have these algae, the purple bits, living inside their tissue. You point that shit at the sun and you get food delivered right to your oh, cells. That's really fucking but the cool. algae yeah. can get damaged by too much ultraviolet light, which is part of sunlight. So to protect the algae, coral have these special proteins that can absorb ultraviolet light wow. and kick back out visible light. Which means that many coral are fluorescent. They can get yeah. a bit tacky, to be honest. It's like coming across the wig of a drowning clown. So Damn. if the conditions are right, this roommate situation between the algae and the coral seems to work for them. They give each other nutrients, they can pretend they're at yeah. a rave. But when the conditions aren't right, oh. the breakup can be a real bitch. A lot of things can stress out a coral, but a big one is abnormally high water temperatures mm -hmm. paired with a lot of sunlight. Yep. That combo seems to overwhelm the algae's photosynthesis and they start to produce things that can damage themselves in the coral. Damn. When this happens, the algae sort of heads for the exit, and it's expelled from the coral's tissue in a sort of oozing mucus. Oh. Sometimes it comes out in little strings like this, or in oh. the case of heliofungia, it's a full-body sneeze. To hell. <laughs> so as these brownish-green algae are expelled, the coral's tissue becomes more and more transparent, right. and that means you can see through to the white skeleton underneath. Dang. That's why this is called bleaching. Now, if the conditions improve quickly, the coral can reabsorb healthy algae and get back right, to business. Right, because we've heard about bleaching before in California. Yeah. And so this is re referring to algae from too much sunlight and increased water temperatures. The algae leaving. AKA yeah. global warming. Yes. Equals bleaching. But yeah. this is why on the inside. I got you. Now, if the conditions improve quickly, the coral can reabsorb healthy algae and get back to business. Mm -hmm. But... If the stress is longer term and the algae are no longer supplying it food, the coral will starve and die. Yep. That's so sad. It's pretty depressing, isn't it, Jerry? It's dead. I mean, you'd probably get your money back on this dive, wouldn't you? No, of course it's a tragedy. I'm just saying if they're going to charge you for the dive, put some fake plants down there. Just a little effort. <laughs> That's and they so do it. twisted. That is idiot. so twisted. He said put fake plants down there, dog. Listen, the end part made up for the rest of the video. Yeah. I was unaware it was that symbiotic. They literally absorb it into their body. Mm -hmm. I wish I could do that with burgers. Eat like a whole little, like eat like a calf, and then it has like infinite cows inside my body feeding me with meat. That's one of the most fucked up things you've ever said. It will be alive. I put it in my bicep. Little, little baby calf bicep. <laughs> I, it's a Zafrank Frank video, yeah. right? So I anticipated grossness. Yes. But I was kind of like, it's coral reefs. How gross? <laughs> how bad could it be? How gross could it be? Very. Seven and very a half gross. minutes of eating mucus vision, visions. Please stop. You, know, you don't have to say it. Visuals. You don't have to say it. Descriptions of trees growing inside of your body oh that's not so bad i used to think that that's what happened when you ate watermelon seeds are so. you serious yeah i used to think if you ate a watermelon seed it would grow in your tummy so you had the same thing i did about the calf but about watermelons <laughs> that's the same idea infinite watermelon glitch you just eat melons over yeah. and over again from growing in your body yeah. so humans are whack like we don't do any cool shit no like that's fucking cool man but anyway, I mean, we make guns, I guess. That's... <laughs> so, never mind. We'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, if you guys want more educational content, you can check out my wife's channel. She's smart. Uh, the memes she watches are stupid. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Did, did we have to do that? Peace. Did